Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Joker here. No, not me. Black Joker, I should say. Just doing another test of this camera. Getting kind of acquainted with it more, a little more or less. Uh, what's to say? Not much, honestly. We are getting old, but also we are continuing to work on this project that I've been continually working on very slowly. It's been two another effing years of doing this thing, and you know, it's a fan film. I grew up watching fan films online all the time, and you know, you never think to yourself, you gotta make one or people gonna care, but we live in a different universe now. The internet's changed everything. It used to be very much a very uh, underground basement sort of thing, but you can actually become a celebrity through the internet. It's kind of stupid to me. It's like you got way too much exposure to people you probably shouldn't have exposure to, and that's leading to way too much, you know, where you would take so much time to understand what was going on in certain places. Now you know instantaneously, and it's a different world than the one I come from. We didn't know nothing about nobody's personal life back in the day. You lived your life and everybody else lived their life. You didn't have instantaneous knowledge about everything. And it's too much. It's too much to have people seeing people's lives 24-7. It's too much. I don't, I don't understand that. I, I went to school all the time and I went home and I did not know what my friends and, and other people were doing after school. It was just, you go to school, you get through it, and then you go home and you do what you really want to do. And now you can know. You can know what Mark freaking Hamill's doing right now. He's hanging out. What, you know, that's the thing about movie making. It's like they, they spend hours hanging out before they actually shoot the movie. So he's got time. He's got time to sit there and then and tweet and go on his Facebook, whatever he wants to do. And Vin Diesel, amazing. I went to see Vin Diesel in the movies. I went to see Vin Diesel on TV. And I never thought I'd see Vin Diesel hanging out, doing whatever the hell he's doing today. No, I didn't think that. Um, and on and on. It's quite, in my opinion, it's just it's overwhelming to, to just constantly have people's lives all up in your face. And it's like, I don't know what to do with it. It's too much. I don't care what you're doing today. Do what you do, but don't be putting that like in everybody's business. And not, not my business what you're doing. I don't care what you're doing. So we got we got to do things a certain way now. I'm thinking about just working hard on losing weight right now, so that I can look better. And in addition for Lando, the thing about it is this. If I get that part in that movie, I'm going to be substantially financially secure. Um, which I never really thought about. Getting a decent job, paying little money, whatever. I can do that any day of the week. I got a little piece of crap high school diploma. I'm not dead. I'm alive. I got two hands. You can make money. Nothing great, but you can get enough, like 800 bucks a week, two, every two weeks. I pulled out a salary of at least fifteen hundred a month, sixteen hundred a month. So money for me is no object. I can somehow get it, but to have a substantially good salary is something I never thought possible. And nobody really told me I would have that, but it is possible because right now today they are casting down to three people on the Han Solo movie. Only three people they're gonna look at. No mention of who they're casting for Lando. You know why? I think they, they, they know who they're going to get. They're going to just, you know, come to me and say, let's do this thing. You know, and I, I'm ready to go, almost. I got to lose weight. I'm sorry. I've been eating too much. I got to dramatically drop pounds, and then we can do it. We can definitely really, really seriously contemplate getting this thing done. And I'm ready to go. I'm very much willing to be on your side with this thing. I, you know, you're gonna need him. That's all I'm gonna say is that you can't do this movie without him. You can't just have a young Han Solo movie and Lando's not a part of it. 
obviously in Empire Strikes Back, they had a history, they knew each other for years, they are actually best friends, and of course, the entire story of the ship and how he lost it to hand, all that stuff is supposed to happen in this movie. So uh, all I can say is that I'm standing here. I've been, I've been around for a while now watching Lucas make the prequels. I've been here just waiting for the opportunity to jump on Lando and now is the time. It's the effing time right now. And um, you can, you can you do whatever you want. Pay me, don't pay me. But it would be nice to get paid. It would be, be money. You know, I'm just saying. Um, okay. Um, I think that's it. I just needed to, you know, very slick, slyly test this camera out, see how good it works in lighting conditions such as this. So sufficient to say it's a good camera for light, but in darker conditions, it's, it totally loses its shit. So that's a strange business. And you know, so on and so forth. Thank you, and uh, see you on the flip side. Which one of these buttons does the thing? I don't know.